All right, a new feature rollout with Go High Level is the ability to add security headers in websites and funnels and basically make your website and funnels more secure against attacks and vulnerability. And so in order for me to show that, let's go to my screen. All right, so headers play a vital role when it comes to uh, website and funnels and previously there was no option available but now there is so what we're going to do is we're going to head to any funnel or website so in this case let's go to this funnel that we have free leads blueprint uh, it is in a k madison account and what we're going to do is there is this new tab setting under security and under here when you add a security header there if you are not familiar with the security settings you can click on need help with security headers now i'm going to give an example of a uh, this x frame option so in this x frame option basically um, this if you put the security header on a specific funnel what it will do is it will prevent or either allow or prevent other uh, users or other people to put your website or funnel into an iframe on their website. So let's go back to the account. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put in that option. So which is, let's go and put this x frame options, which I'm going to copy that. And we're going to put it in here. Okay. And then the two options available are deny and same origin. And so let's go ahead and put in here deny. So what that means is that basically what it says right here is if you specify deny, not only will the browser attempt to load the page in a frame fail when loaded from another site, sites, attempt to do so will fail when loaded from the same site. On the other hand, if you specify same origin, you can still use the page in a frame as long as the site including it, including it in a frame that is on the same as the one serving the page. So those are the two options. Let's go back here and let's go to add security. And these are all of this uh, security headers that you can utilize um, that is available to you. Now with this update, users can now configure the security headings themselves without any limitations. I hope this video was helpful and see you on the next one. Bye now.